Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to copy data from Google Cloud Storage into Azure Blob Storage account. In this module, we will learn how to create an Azure Blob Storage account and how to create Azure Data Factory and how to copy data. And we are going to use the copy tool in Azure Data Factory to copy data from Google Cloud Storage into Azure Blob. I'm in the Azure portal, so I uh, will just create a storage account, Azure Blob storage account. I will I click on create and I create a new resource group. Click new, I will say RG01 resource group name and storage account name. I will say Azure storage account 01 and East US and standard and redundancy. I will choose a uh, local redundant storage and everything looks here advanced and I keep all these options enabled and networking connectivity method let's go with public endpoint and data protection since this is a demo session I will disable this soft delete for blobs and even disable this soft delete for containers and file shares everything looks good i click on tags and review create so everything looks good here i create the storage account this is our azure blob storage account and while this deployment is in progress i go to home and go to data factory and create a data factory so we're going to use a copy tool in data factory to do this copy activity from Google Cloud Storage into Azure Blob Storage account. And I will select East US as a region and I need to say name Azure Data Factory 1. And name is not available. I will just um, say AZ Data Factory 1. And Git configuration, let's select configure Git later networking enable public endpoint everything looks good here and create this data factory while these two services are deploying like a storage account and uh, adf a both in deployment so now i go to google storage account and here i have bucket exist in my cloud storage account in google platform so let me go to this bucket and here I have a file that diamond CSV. So we are going to copy this file into Azure Blob storage account. And let's go back to Azure portal and see if our resources are deployed. Um, data factory is available. Go to storage account. So let me open this in another tab and let's go to storage account. And I need to create a container here. This is where the file lands from the uh, Google Cloud Storage, the diamonds file. Uh, we will copy it here. We will say AZ container 01 and enable public access and create this container. Now I have AZ container 01 available in my Azure Blob Storage account. I will go to Azure Data Factory, click on Author and Monitor and select copy data and run once now select next and the source type uh, we can just uh, let me just create a new connection here our source is google cloud storage we'll say google cloud storage here we have that google cloud storage option available i will select this option and continue and now here we need a access key id a secret access key we need both these details from Google Cloud Storage account. So let's go and find them how we can get both these in Google Cloud Storage. So now I'm in a Cloud Storage and I go to settings. And here I see other option, interoperability. Uh, I select this and then go and here we see option access keys for service accounts i click on create a key for a service account 
and I select fresh amber and create key. So now I have access key available and I have secret available. Let me copy this access key and go to data factory and enter this access key ID. And I will get this secret from here in cloud storage account. And I will enter here and everything looks good. Service URL and let's test the connection. Connection successful and create this linked service in Azure Data Factory. And everything looks good. If we want to identify, use to access data store only as permission to sub directory instead of entire account. So I just need a file, a diamonds file from this GCP storage account. I select this CSV file, click on OK. And everything looks good, click on next. And the file format, I will just keep it text format. So we want to see a text format data and blob storage. And everything looks good here. And select next. Now I need to create my Azure blob storage linked service here. So let's say Azure storage. Okay. Azure blob storage. It is available here let's select azure blob storage and let's keep everything as is and uh, let's select this authentication method account key and azure subscription select azure subscription and select the storage account so this is our storage account and let's test the connection connection successful and create this linked service so, so far we successfully able to create a source linked service that is Google Cloud Storage linked service. And our target is Azure Blob Storage. And we are successfully able to create both linked services in Azure Data Factory. So now way to send this file into, uh, when we copy the file from Cloud Storage and we want to store it in our AZ Container 01 in Azure Blob Storage account. I will select browse and select the container and click OK. And everything looks good. Go to next and keep everything text format and column delimiter comma. And everything looks good. Click on next. And here everything looks good. And click on next. Let's check everything, our source, Google Cloud Storage and target Azure Blob Storage. And everything looks good. The linked services look good. And this is the file that we want to copy from Google Cloud Storage account, diamond CSV file. And click on next. So right now it is validating. So the creating data sets succeeded, creating pipeline succeeded, running pipeline succeeded. Let me just click on the finish. So now I will just go to monitor and the copy line is in progress. It is still running. So we can see what is coming from the source. So we see that Google Cloud Storage settings. Let me close this and let's open these details and data read and data written and start time. It's very quick and the copy duration is just 15 seconds copying data from uh, Google Cloud Storage into Azure Blob Storage account. Now let's refresh this and the pipeline is successful. So we must be able to see the file in our Azure Blob Storage account. Before that, we can see that uh, output here, the data read and data written files read one and the copy duration took 15 seconds. And let me just um, close this and go back to storage account. Let me refresh this. And I will check in this Azure container and we see the file available in our Azure Blob storage account. And we mentioned we want this file as a text format. Let's open and check the file if we have data available. So we have all data available in the file.
That means our pipeline is successful and we are successfully load copy data from Google Cloud Storage into Azure Blob Storage account. If you have any questions on this, how to copy data from Google Cloud Storage into Azure Blob Storage account, please post in the comment. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.